Okay, so the door we're looking at here is the Lockwood 3582 short back mortise lock and from the outside it should be locked It's not from the inside it should be free It is and it should slam automatically and close which it doesn't and then once the token is supplied should be and it should release so the release part of it's fine the lock part of it is not very good so that actually needs to slam in here and I can see automatically that uh, when this is pushed in nothing's kind of happening you can feel it also crunching there so it's obviously been forced okay so this is the lock we're going to replace it with the Carbo short back mortise lock um, in place of this lockwood we're going to reuse these handles So to get it out, you have to go down, tilt it on an angle, pull it out. Okay, so let's set this lock up. Uh, this side, which is in the inside, should always be free. So we, uh, where is it now? this side locking so we want it other side locking so we need to turn that around that way okay so just using a flat blade click okay that's it no cylinder so we're going to leave these in to protect the lock You don't want to drop this in at all. It would be very bad. Okay, handle, spring goes in the handle, so it pushes it out, just like that. Okay. So we want this to be locked. So I'm going down the back, putting in the locked position. Now that's locked, the inside handle should be free. Somebody's put a lot of grease on this for some reason, these handles. Okay, so I'm going to test my handles, should work. Test, is locked, and it latches. So this side's locked, that side will latch, dead latch. 
Okay, moment of truth. How's the door closer working? Okay, so that's replacing a lock with 3582 with a carbur 3582.